The boss fight at the Shrine of the Warbringer is a really tough fight. And you might even go here early on, trying to get it at kind of low levels. Or really with not even good equipment at all. So today, I'm going to show you pretty much how to do this with okay equipment. The only real thing that I have that's kind of strong is Wizard's Rod here. And you can easily get that in the steel at uh, Goldshore, which is right over here. Outside of the church in Goldshore, there is, I think, it's, I think it's a lady. It's a low steal rate. You can also buy it for a lot of money. But if you do want to steal it, just save scum. That's how I got it. I also recommend if you can't get that, if you go to Refugee Ruins, you can get a staff there. If you beat the mini boss there, which is pretty easy, you can pretty much poison it to death. Like, I did that at low levels, like even lower than this. You do that, you get the Enchanted Rod. And that's pretty good. Just for the elemental attack alone. But yeah. We're mainly going to need a rod. You don't really care about uh, Tressa or Alvin's equipment. I don't really. I, I have a lot of them just have makeshift stuff. Because I don't care. They're not going to be really attacking too much. And if they are, they're going to be using items to attack. So uh, let's go over my little setup here. Also for equipment. Anything that can boost your physical defense. Is really good. Oh, that's not the platinum stuff. The platinum stuff, you can get that easily at River Fort there. That's right next to it. The only problem is, at this point in the game, it might cost a lot of money to buy. So, I don't bank on it too much, but if you have it, the better. The main thing we're going to be focusing on is having Elfman as a dancer, Tressa as a thief. If you have Therion, I'd make him a merchant. Uh, Cyrus as a cleric, and then Ophelia as a scholar. So, first off, I mainly want Alpin as a dancer, because he's going to be buffing a lot if he's not healing or really doing anything else. Tressa is a thief, because I really want to use Shackle Foe. I'm pretty much going to be using this throughout the whole fight. Also, as a merchant, if I can show this here, you want hired help. That's going to be really good as well. Like, if you don't have that with her, I'd recommend getting that before you do this fight. For Cyrus, I have him as a cleric, because Dancer would give him more elemental attack, but I don't want him wasting his turn buffing. Like, I don't want Cyrus to buff himself at all, if possible. Like, if I do buff with Cyrus, it's gonna be with uh, Elephant's Enlightenment, if at all. And even then, I don't often get that on him because I mainly want to focus on him just constantly using Blizzard. Ophelia, I have her as a, as a scholar. I almost said sorcerer, but no. We don't have sorcerer in this file. I'm not going to be using any of the other hidden job classes to do this. But anyways, um, I have her as a scholar. Mainly just for... She's just going to be helping break down resistances with Blizzard, and that's really about it. For learned skills, you mainly just... And poison is nice. And the same thing with Vivify, if you have it. Vivify don't really use too much, but it can be nice if one person is down. If anything, I'm probably going to be mainly using uh, Purifying Dust with all Blooming, all Bloom to uh, revive people. But if you have one person who's dead, Vivify can be really good. And Poison, I like as well. That can be good. Donor's Charity is something I probably won't use in this fight, but if you have it, it's really good. I highly recommend it. I'm mainly going to be using him with Peacock Strut, and if I'm not using Peacock Strut, I'm just going to be concocting with him. Tressa, I'm just going to make her use Hired Help a lot, and Shackled Foe. That's really it. Like, anything else is extra. Also, for Cyrus here, I have him with all of the, uh, all the spells here for Scholar. But we mainly are going to be using Blizzard, but having Firestorm and Lightning Blast can be nice as well, because this boss can change her weakness, but if you kill her fast enough, that's usually not a problem. For Cleric, I don't really care what he has on. Honestly, I'm just equipping it for the boost. And also the SP boost is really nice too. Ophelia, the just Firestorm, Blizzard, and Lightning Blast is mainly what I'm using her for. Also... Airfix, I don't even know how to say that other word, but her divine skill, her cleric divine skill, you really want this. Like, I'd grind for it if you don't have it. It's just that good for this fight. Same thing with Alvin's Enlightenment. If you can get that, 
on Cyrus, the better. But this one I don't feel is that necessary. But you'll be doing a lot more damage if you have that. So, here's my equip skills. Um, I like endless items on Alfin. Because it'll get your concocting ingredients for free. And you won't waste them up. The show goes on because he's going to be buffing a lot. Patience I have on everybody. You just have a chance of getting a turn. Like basically, at the end of every turn, you have a chance of getting an extra turn. It's a very small chance, but it will happen almost guaranteed pretty much every turn if you have it on somebody. It's not a high chance that will even happen either, but it is just decent enough. Like, you'll you'll get your JP's worth. I was going to say money's worth. But doesn't really, that, that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense now, does it? Maybe bigger, I just kind of have on him just uh, for healing. You don't really need this, but I was like, uh, might as well. For Teresa here, I have Endless Items, Patience, Snatch, and Hang Tough. Um, Snatch is just nice because I'm going to have her steal or collect during this fight. And I honestly recommend you do so as well. Not really steal, but collecting. Because you get a lot of money if you collect with Snatch. Like, after this fight, you'll probably have enough money to buy a ton of equipment. Because she, if you do collect from her, she drops uh, 80,000. So that's really nice. So we just collect that 8,000 off of her, because it's worth it. Also, I have her and Cyrus would hang tough. Just in case. Because I don't think she can one-shot anybody, but there's a chance. And I don't want to take that chance. Also, with Cyrus, I have him with patience. I also have him with element augment augmentation. And that's just really good on him. Gives a little bit more of the elemental attack straight. Strength. And then, um, Ophelia, pretty much same thing. The only thing I have different is I have her with endless items. I used to have her with elemental augmentation, but she's not going to be really attacking as much. And when she does attack, it's mainly to break enemy shields. Like, that's it. So that's my, uh, setup here. We're just going to go at it. I think this video is going to be also really long too, and I apologize. It's probably going to take about a half hour to do this fight, with these levels at least. There's probably more better setups you can do against her. I wouldn't doubt it. This is the setup that works for me, and works often for me, because I've had to do this fight a few times. Alright, so all Cyrus is going to be doing for this whole fight is Blizzard. That's it. That's all he's going to be doing. What's the big idea? That is actually not a great Just start because I don't like to be poisoned. But uh, I guess I'll deal with it. And since Alfred's the only one... No, I don't want to break her shield yet. I could do that right now, but I think I'm just going to do um, Purifying Seed, uh, Nox... Try I can target the wrong person. That's up to a great start. I didn't realize. I thought I was defaulting to him. Oh well, that's not a big deal. So with Tressa, I just want to immediately start with Shackle Foe. You really want her to... You want to lower her physical attack, because that's all she's going to be doing is physical attacks. And then with um, Ophelia here, I'm just going to have her defend. No, you will not. My turn now. And since I got another turn, I'm going to use Shackle Foe again. So that lasts for four turns. That's going to be really nice. Now with Ophelia, I'm just going to... Yeah, I'm gonna go and break her. Well, I guess I'm not gonna break her with Ophelia, but with Cyrus. I actually had a pretty rough start here. So, um, depending if I get patience or not, will pretty much depend what my next move is gonna be. But the main thing I think I want to do is, um... Oh, Ophelia has her turn last. I don't like that. Oh, well, I guess I'll deal with it. Because I want Ophelia to use the Cleric Divine skill on Cyrus. But, whatever. This will still work out. I think I'm probably going to have you just use the Healing Grit. Let me help. Shucks. And this time, I'm going to target the right person. Here goes nothing. And of course, I get it for free that time, too. Oh, nice. We got... Oh, yeah, okay, now I want to defend. No, you will not. This actually worked out perfectly. And, um, Tressa, now I have Shackled Foe on her for a decent amount. 
I'm going to also want to use Hired Health Mercenary. Hired Health Mercenary, what that does is a little bit of damage, and the damage really doesn't matter, because like, you're only going to be doing like 5, 8, or 10 damage. The main thing we want that for is that defense boost right there. So I'm probably going to have this next turn, I'm going to have her use it as well. Now I'm going to use the Cleric Divine skill on Cyrus, and that's going to be really good here. We go. And also because I get to, because Alvin gets to go before Cyrus, I'm gonna use Peacock Strut on Peacock, Peacock Strut on him. There we go. And now, just go, go to town, I guess. Level, just level four boost on her, and you'll be doing twenty thousand. Now, if you can get Alvin's enlightenment on him, so much the better, and also keep him with high DP. That's really good, but I wasn't able to do that, and by the time I'm able to, I don't think it's worth it. Though I might do it this next round, just for the hell of it. But for right now, actually, you know what? I will try to go for that, actually. Because it will be better for my overall damage. And this next turn, all she's going to be doing is, uh, she's going to be wasting her first turn putting her seals back up and getting more resistance seals, and then after that she's going to just attack. So, uh, hmm. I'm trying to think of what I want Ophelia to do here. I think I'm just going to have you defend. Because I don't really care for your damage. And then, for Tressa, I'm just going to have her hired health mercenary. So I don't run out of those seals next turn. Alright, that was uh, pretty good. Yeah, as you see there, she just wasted a turn just making it so she has more shields now. Which can be a little bit annoying, but we'll get by. So just Blizzard. And then on Tressa's turn, I'm just going to have her use an energizing pomegranate. I'm going to use uh, Purifying Dust with Essence of Crit. Try this. Those are, by the way, you can get those pretty easily. You can buy those. Essence of Crit is probably the easiest one to buy. Purifying Dust is not in every store, but it might as well be. It's pretty common to find. So we'll just get Alphen's Enlightenment on Cyrus there. I think I'm just gonna, yeah, because I'm gonna debuff you, so we'll just do Shackle Fell. Yeah, without that, she would be doing a lot more damage. And she does counter resist in there, that's all it does basically just an attack boost. So, I'm not liking... Actually, no, no, this could work. This, this could work out pretty nicely, actually. Because I can concoct with um, Injurious Seed and Essence of Grape How do you like this? and break down. Did I use Injurious Seed? I meant to use, um, what was it? The other one. But I don't think it really matters too much. Because we're going to break her no matter what next turn. So I'm just going to defend with Cyrus. Oh, okay. I wasn't expecting this. So I think I'm going to have you just use um, a pomegranate on yourself. This should help. And I'll just have Alphen heal. Bring it on. Just concoct Purifying Dust Essence. Great. Try this. And that'll be, we'll be good. <laughs> now, what next? <laughs> My... Switch Pro Controller is running low on battery. I guess that happens too, I guess. I'll plug it in a little bit. Um, Peacock Strut. Peacock Get that ready. That's one reason why I don't like using Alphen's Enlightenment too early, is because the buff is going to wear off already. So just in case, if I do get Patience this turn, I'm going to have uh, Cyrus get the extra BP. And now I'm going to get the Cleric Divine skill on him.
No, I didn't get it. Oh well, it's not a big deal. The cleric divine skill, I think, is just better because you'll you'll get that off more often, and it also helps when she's not broken because you'll you'll be able to easily break her again. If you can somehow blind her, by the way, with blinding dust, that's also really good. But I don't rely on that in the spite too much because I don't really know an efficient way to grind it at this moment. But you can get those, the more the better. But what I mainly like to use is one of the larger soul stones. You'll probably get a few of these around the game. So and it doesn't matter which one. If you don't have large ones, the medium ones will do as well. But if you have a large one, like, look at that damage. 5,400, not bad. Ophelia, she's not really doing a whole lot here. I could make her boost, but I don't want to. So instead, I'm just going to make her give herself more BP. Oh, that is not Cyrus. <laughs> Oops. Um, actually, you know what? What I think I'll do is I'm um, in poison. Because she can be poisoned, and that's going to be very useful. Give us a little bit of extra damage. And then we'll just use Blizzard. Oh, and Tress is next turn. I need to get, um, what is it? I need to do Hired Merchant again. Not Hired Merchant, um, Hired Mercenary. Because we need that back up. Um, I'll have you just defend. Now she has 12 shields. She'll always, for the first two times you break her, she's gonna, um, after you break her, she'll always waste the first turn establishing more shields. Now this is not a setup I like, but we're gonna have to deal with it. Which is fine. I I, I can deal with it pretty easily, actually. I kind of want to wait to um, hire help now, because he's dead. So instead, what I'm going to do is... I don't do this often, but vilify... To get Cyrus back on his feet, because we need him. Like, if Cyrus goes down, if Cyrus or Alpha goes down, it's not going to end well for you. So now we're going to merchant hired help mercenary. There we go. And then, as soon as I'm able to, actually, I can do that now, is get this on Cyrus. Because even when she's not broken, that's just really good. I'm not really too afraid of her attacks here, but we'll see what happens. That's the main reason why I have Hang Tough on people, because Tiger Rage, even with all these buffs, can sometimes do enough damage to almost annihilate you. And if you have Hang Tough, you'll be fine. Alpha, I'm not too worried about, because he's so tanky, but... For my mages, it, it won't end well. I could actually try to break shields, but I don't think I'll have enough, so... Try this. Essence of Grape. Well, let's see if we get patience. There we go. Um, yeah, we'll uh, blizzard that. I was thinking about defending, but... It wasn't worth it for this moment. And Tressa, I'm just going to have you, um, shackle foe again. Just keep that on her. You never want that to wear off. Because if it wears off, she'll just be doing a ton of damage. Bring it on. And Alfin's not doing a whole lot, so I think I'm going to do Runer Seed and Essence of Grape. How do you like this? I might have needed to heal, but I can do that next turn. And now for you, actually, hmm. I want you to defend. I also want you to defend as well. Wow, I didn't. That's for the one time I get patience when I really don't need it. Um, if that's the case. Then what I'll do is uh, herb of healing. Might as well get rid of that. Okay, here we go. Get that back on Cyrus. Oh, he already, he already had it on him. I thought that was Peacock Strut. Sometimes I just can't tell because the icon looks really similar. And then we'll just use Blizzard once.
Then it's Tress's turn. I don't really know what I want you to do for this turn, because she's got a decent amount of uh, Shackle Foe on her. And everybody has a decent amount of uh, hired help. But we'll do hired help. Because I don't want that to wear off, When I usually forget about that. Bring it on. Like, I forget about that a lot. It's pretty bad. Alright, Peacock Strut on Cyrus. Peacock strut. And then from there... If Cyrus can get an extra turn, that would be nice, but I wasn't counting on that too much. I might have to have a turn where Tressa just heals Ophelia's SP. Oh, I guess gets it back or whatever. Just saying heals SP just sounds a little weird to me. But yeah, that's some pretty good damage there. Does she need more poison? Not really. I think this turn, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to throw up another uh, soul stone here. Try this on for size. All right. And we can use some healing, so I'll just concoct purifying dust essence, essence of grit, Try this. and that will be pretty good. Now this is when the fight really gets hard. <laughs> if I can actually get to that part, holy. <laughs> yeah, let's just do that. That's decent damage. Anyways, this is when the fight really gets hard. Because she'll now just have 12 shields throughout the whole rest of the fight, and she can summon three weapons, and that doesn't end well. Because now she has three attacks, and that's not great. So I'm trying to think of what I want to do here. If I want to defend... Because I can guarantee two. We're going to come close, but I don't think I'll have enough. But I think I am going to have Ophelia defend there. Bring it on. And... Because hmm. if Alpha goes, that's three. Tressa can do one. And Cyrus can do four. So that's seven right there. And that's eight. And Ophelia, that's ten. We're going to get really close, but uh, I'm going to heal instead. If I could get, If I could have broke her seals right there, I would have... Made him go for the Ruinous Seed, Essence of Grape, but I'm not. And do we need shields? Shields are good. Um, we're gonna... Um, we're just gonna Shackle Foe. Nice. Just keep that on her. If Poison runs out, I'm not worried about that too much, but it can be helpful. Oh, we got the patience. Nice. That sadly won't be enough, though. If I knew we were going to get patience, I probably would have uh, planned differently. But I don't usually try to plan around patience, because if you do that too much, what will end up happening is that you won't get the turn for it, guaranteed. So I'm just going to hopefully survive this the best we can. Okay, that's hanging tough <laughs> in action right there. And that's the reason why I have that equipped. Because, yeah, that just saved my ass right there. Um, well. I'm not really too sure what I want you to do. Because when, when Cyrus goes, he's going to break her. So I think I'm just going to... Um, I think I'll just... I'll hire help. Either or. Cyrus, I'm gonna have you defend. So then Alphan's gonna heal everybody because we all need that, like, badly. And I'll get rid of his poison later. Or maybe even right now. Oh. Hmm. No, I need to... Actually, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to Ice Wind. Because I just realized my, um... What is it? My Cleric Defined skill is going to wear off. And I don't want to break her this turn still. So... I'm going to break her this turn. So she wastes all of her other actions. Like that. Yeah, good thing I noticed that. Because sometimes I get a little too preoccupied with the, the buffs and debuffs. And I don't notice when they wear off. Um, 
you don't have a whole lot for you to do, so I think I'm just going to throw up a uh, another soul stone. She's also weak to darkness, by the way, but I just don't care about that too much. Unless I'm using a soul stone. And now... Just in case if I do get the extra turn, I just want to Purifying Dust Essence of Pomegranate and hope for the best there. I got an extra turn, but it's on Ophelia. That's fine. I'll just use this to use another Herb of Healing. I was hoping I was getting the extra turn with Cyrus, and then I can use Alphans Enlightenment on him. But this works out pretty well. I didn't use Peacock Strut on him. <laughs> and the only reason why I noticed that, because I noticed I was doing a lot less damage. I knew I was forgetting something, because I usually do forget one of these things. So you, I just do a lot for this fight. Um, any free turn you have with Tressa, and you have her with more than 3 PP, that's what I would collect or steal. I'd really recommend you collect this. You will get a lot of money off of that. But for now, I'm just gonna... Um, Shacklefell. And then we'll just use a blizzard. And then she's running low on SP. So I think I will... Um, I will just draw up a, uh, what is it here? Oh, I passed it. Inspiring Plum. Try this. That's good. <laughs> and yeah, I don't like it when she has three turns, because she, she can do a lot of damage. Kyle Resistant also is nasty. I could be kind of nice, because essentially she is wasting a turn doing it, but if you don't have Shackle Foe on her, oh boy, won't end too well. Here goes nothing. I don't really know what I want to do this turn, because um, no matter what, I'm not going to be able to break her, but I don't know if I want to try to break her a little bit. I think we're... Nah, I'd rather be safe than sorry, so I think I'm going to just do a low healing, but a decent amount. Yeah. I'll do my best. I just want you to actually just get um Yeah, put that on Cyrus. That'll work. Oh she gets the extra turn too, nice. That's why I mainly use patience, because those extra turns can save you. Oh, well, um... Oh, never mind. I thought Tressa died there. Well, I guess I'll just make her heal herself. Though I probably should have gotten, um... Hired help back on everybody. But oh well. I've never actually seen her, uh... Kind of position when she already has the buff on. Okay, when she does that, she's going to do a really nasty attack, and you probably want to break her as soon as possible. On top of that, her um, resistances change. I think one of them is lightning, though, if I do recall. So we're going to test that out here. Hopefully. How do you like this? Yeah, there we go. I don't use Essence of Plum that much in this fight, though it could be really good because it does lower um her elemental defense. The main reason why is because Essence of Plum is like really hard to get and just something I don't want to waste as much. But honestly, if you have it, go just use it. And there goes my low battery again. I should probably plug this thing in before it dies mid-recording and that'll be, that'll be something. We'll actually be able to break her this turn. Yeah, we'll definitely be able to break her, so um, I'm going to just do a Injure Seed. Hopefully like I get um, the Elemental Defense lowered still. Oh yeah, it did. It stacked. Good. Alright, we're good. We are good. 
because this is the thing I'm afraid of, because she does some attack that'll attack your whole party six times, and you will die. Like, no matter how many buffs you have, no matter how many debuffs you have on her, you will die. It's just ridiculous. Um, I could heal the poison off you, but I just really want to, um... Oh yeah, she's not weak to wind anymore. But still did decent damage, even though she wasn't. Um... Lightning Blast. I don't have Peacock Strut, but uh, this will still be pretty good. Also, the other reason why I don't use uh, Rune of Seed or Injury of Seed with Essence of Plum, because she's usually not weak to Thunder. Like, she's only weak to Thunder in this part of the fight, if you can get her this far. Sometimes I don't. I actually kill her before uh, she changes her resistances and her weaknesses, but um, this time not. I wasn't so lucky. So I'm just going to do a Soothing Dust with a Curious Bloom to get rid of that poison, and just to heal a little bit. Who's getting extra turns this time? Ophelia? I guess I'm okay with that, because I can have her... Not defense, I don't need her defense, thankfully. I'm going to have her um, use a... What is it? A pomegranate on herself. Because I just want to get... The divine skill back on um, Cyrus as soon as possible. I, I don't really have a whole lot for you to do. Actually, no, I know I do. I want to have you use Hired Health Mercenary. This is probably what I would collect normally if that weren't the case. Oh, I don't have any uh, boosts for you. Oh, well. I'll do a decent amount of damage. I'd probably get poison back on her, but I don't think it's really worth it at this rate, because we're decent amount into the fight. So I'm just gonna... Should I purifying dust? I'll just use soothing dust, because we don't Try need this. that much healing. And who's going again? Nobody, okay. And that, once again, is why I have Hang Strong, or what is it? The attack. Okay, now here we are. Obtained all weapons. This is where the fight really gets nasty. Because now, as you can see there, she attacks six times. And that's not great. Also, Cyrus uh, being unconscious isn't great either. But luckily, Teresa has a turn right before him. So I think we'll be fine. Yeah, because this will do two. And then Cyrus will do four. It's still not enough, but... We will somehow get through this, I believe. So let's use a... Uh, clear no, that's for confusion. I'm trying to find which one's the... Revival, that's what it is. Heard of Revival. I really need an extra turn from Patience right now. Because <laughs> that would be really nice. Nice. That's good. Because I can just do this now. Thank god. Because usually I don't get that lucky with Patience. I didn't use up my last essence of Plum there. Nice. <laughs> it is so nice seeing all six, all 12 of her turns just destroyed like that. We are good. Actually, how much, uh... Oh, she's almost dead. The, basically, if you use, uh... Steal or Collect, it's... It will tell you kind of how much HP they have left. Because in this game, when you do Steal or Collect, it's a higher chance if they're lower on HP. So, that's basically, like, a way where I can kind of tell. It's not, like, a guaranteed way, mind you. It doesn't tell you an exact amount. It's like, oh, hey... They're close what to dead. Oh, uh, no, I'm gonna boost next turn so I get the most out of it. And then, hopefully... I'm just gonna actually have Ophelia boost. No! Yeah. If she's almost dead, I want her dead. Oh, there we go! And that was the fight. That was actually... Not my 
best take of that fight, but I actually beat it. <laughs> I don't want to re-record this, so I think that'll do. So there we go. That's how you do Warbringer, or at least how you fight the Warbringer fight, the Warmaster boss fight. It can be really tough, even with this, but that's a pretty decent way of usually how I handle it. Sometimes it goes a lot better for me, sometimes not as much. Like, I didn't get as lucky as Patience. I didn't get lucky with Patience as much in this fight as I would like to. But hey, it worked out in the end, so... That's it. Afterwards, you just collect the Warmaster fight. I mean, the Warmaster um, job class. Not the fight. We just did the fight. So anyways, I hope that was helpful in any way possible. That last part of that fight can get really ridiculous, but... If you get really good patience, you'll be fine. So, yeah.